Bertrand Russell once said, a pure mathematician like the musician is a free creator of his world of ordered beauty. The same could certainly be said about Dr. Sharachandra Shankar Shrikhande, who completed a glorious hundred in 2017. He is a celebrated witness to the evolution of mathematics in this century. This story is a glowing tribute to Professor Shrikhande, a living legend who has crowned himself as the Euler Spoiler along with the equally illustrious Dr. R.C. Bose and E.T. Parker. A distinguished work by these three turned the long-standing conjecture of 177 years made by another legendary Swiss mathematician, Leonhard Euler, in 1782 on its head. It was Sunday, 26th April 1959, a proud moment for every Indian as the solution to the problem was reported at the 557th meeting of the American Mathematical Society in New York. Shrikhande is also recognized for his pioneering work in combinatorics and statistical designs. The Shrikhande graph is considered among his outstanding contribution in mathematics. The invalidation of Euler's conjecture turned out to be a major breakthrough that opened the doors to various applications and implications in the fields of designs of controlled experiments in such diverse areas as biology, medicine, agriculture industry along with communication systems, cryptography and coding theory. India has had a proud lineage of great mathematicians like Aryabhatta, Bhaskaracharya, Brahmagupta, Madhav and many more. In line with this galaxy, another great Srinivas Ramanujan became a trigger for many modern Indian mathematicians who made outstanding contribution to the ever-growing branches of mathematics. The contribution by Shrikhande is of a fundamental nature but very significant nevertheless. Recently, Shrikhande's birthday celebrations were held in Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh. It was a momentous occasion for him and his admirers. He has always been a family man, a doting husband for his caring wife Shakuntala, loving father attached to his siblings Anil, Mohan and Asha. He is known for his simplicity and humility. Shrikhande has been an excellent mentor. He was born on 19th October 1917 in Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. He prosecuted his education and honed his talents as mathematician at Government High School, Sagar, Robertson College, Jabalpur, Institute of Science, Nagpur. Shrikhande has had very strong roots with Nagpur. He joined the hallowed portals of Institute of Science Nagpur as a lecturer in mathematics and served in various capacities from 1942 to 1958. In fact, he founded and became the first head of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics at Institute of Science Nagpur. The highly coveted PhD came in 1950 from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill under Professor R.C. Bose. He taught at various universities in the USA. He also founded the Department of Mathematics, Mumbai University. In an exclusive interview, Professor Shrikhande said, Your upbringing as a mathematician no, I have no personal record. I have only methods. I all, all the subjects I am really interested mm -hmm. in getting really. Mm -hmm. So I can't say I can't say that methods was the only thing I was interested in. Mm -hmm. I was interested. I was not interested in botanical sciences or. But then, uh, how did you evolve as a mathematician? <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult to say. 
I will be interested in mathematics, but that's all I can say. I will be interested in other subjects also. Physics. So it's very difficult to say truly mm-hmm. what I was interested in. But then uh, uh, after your uh, uh, BSc honours, yeah, you went to uh, Calcutta to ISI. Uh-huh. And uh, tell us about your experiences there. Malnabis? Malnabis was a teacher who organized it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who is this? Uh-huh. I forget. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 CR Rao? CR Rao. Ah, CR Rao. Yeah. The Department of Mathematics, Mumbai University recently organized a four-day international conference in mathematics from 22nd to 25th January 2018 to celebrate the centenary of their founding head, Dr. Shri Khande. Professor Shri Khande was the cynosure of all eyes. Mohan Shri Khande the son of Shri Khande retired from the Department of Mathematics, Central Michigan University in 2015, said, I uh, went to Indiana University, Bloomington, Indiana in 1966 and uh, I worked in uh, uh, algebra with uh, my professor, Professor Azumaya. I was very happy to uh, come to Mumbai University to take part in the conference uh, in honor of my father. So I enjoyed uh, giving two talks and also meeting uh, my father's old colleagues, uh, many of whom uh, gathered there after many years. And I was uh, very happy to join them in uh, celebrating his uh, uh, 100th birthday and also uh, the st- starting of the mathematics department at Bombay University. In 1782, Euler made his famous conjecture, there do not exist two mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 4n plus 2 for every positive integer n. Latin square a Latin square is an n by n array filled with n different symbols, each occurring exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column. Orthogonal Latin squares, two Latin squares of the same order, are said to be orthogonal to each other if, when any of the squares is superimposed on the other, every ordered pair of symbols appears exactly once. Euler estimated the puzzle. There are 36 officers belonging to six different regiments. Each regiment has six officers of different ranks. How to arrange them in the form of a square such that each row and column has six officers and no rank or regiment appears more than once in a row or a column? Mathematically, this means to find at least one pair of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 6. Euler was stuck here as he was unable to find such a pair of Latin squares of order 6 and neither was he able to prove that they did not exist. Based on his experience with this problem and some other pieces of evidence, Euler made conjecture which included and went beyond by generalizing it to the numbers of the form 4n plus 2. Euler was right about the Latin squares of order 6. Indeed, there do not exist mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 6. This was verified by a Russian mathematician, Gatson Tarry, in 1901. He painstakingly checked out all the possible cases. But where Euler erred was in generalizing this result for the numbers of type 4n plus 2. A number of previous results and conjectures led to the final masterstroke by these three mathematicians 
justifiably called by their friends and colleagues as Euler's spoilers. It was McNeish in 1922 who gave a lower bound for the number of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of any order n. He went on to make the conjecture that this lower bound is same as the upper bound. Parker found that there were four mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 21 using method used to design statistical experiments called balanced incomplete block designs. This contradicted the McNeish conjecture. Bose and Srikhande actually constructed orthogonal Latin squares of order 22 using generalization of balanced incomplete block designs called pairwise balanced designs. Srikhande recalls his associations with Dr. R C Bose and E T Parker. When when did you meet uh, Bose? Well, when I went to Chennai. No, but did you did you not meet him at uh, yes. ISI Calcutta? At, at Calcutta, yes. I met him, but I do particular close association mm -hmm. with him. When did he go to America? Bose, I think he went against the advice of Malnovich. Okay, all right. Well, it was good for him mm -hmm. for the development of the subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then he trained C R Rao mm -hmm. and uh, I forget other names. Kalyanpur, Kalyanpur, you uh, went to I S I. Kalyanpur. I met only in Chapel. In Chapel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kalyanpur mm -hmm. and uh, Bahadur. Bah, I think. Raghuraj Bahadur. Raghuraj Bahadur. He is developed as a good worker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kalyanpur also did some good work, mm -hmm. but I can't uh, tell exactly what mm -hmm. it is. Around the same time, Parker, the professor emeritus of the University of Illinois, also came up with two mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order ten via different method. How did you uh, come into contact with uh, Professor Parker? I don't recall. I'm sorry. Yeah, so Parker was working at the Rand Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a uh, uh, computer expert. Yeah. And uh, he uh, did he find the first counter example? Mm -hmm. Was was Parker? Did he find the first counter example or the second counter example to Euler's conjecture? Uh, did did you and Bose find the first counter example, or was it Parker? I think it was it Parker. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you could develop your uh, materials to disprove uh -huh. this conjecture for all values of t. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I can say the Okay. okay. A series of long and intense interactions between Bose, Srikhande, and Parker finally led to the rigorous proof that there did indeed exist orthogonal Latin squares of all orders other than six and two. They used ideas from geometry, combinatorics, and statistics. It made the splash it deserved. The story appeared on the front page of New York Times, along with the photograph of Bose, Shrikhande, and Parker. As Bose narrated, the cashier at the desk of the hotel said to me, "You must have done something. The front page of New York Times cannot be bought for a million dollars." Professor Shrikhande recalls, now "What was your reaction when you saw your picture?" On the front page of New York Times. Yeah, very happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then when I went to the medical conference, mm -hmm. when I came back to the hotel, hotel. Ah. so the 
man who read it, scriptures, he said that, do you know that you have a terribly in the New York Times? I said, I, I don't recall, I don't, I haven't seen as yet. So then they showed me. I see, yeah. I see. <laughs> Shri Khande's second son, Mohan, was in school when his teacher asked him if he had seen the day's New York Times. Well, I remember that I was about uh, 12 years old in uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, when uh, he did his uh, famous work on uh, Euler's Conjecture. And <clears throat> my teachers uh, at school had asked me, whether I had read the New York Times in which the his photo had appeared along with uh, that of Professor R.C. Bose and uh, E.T. Parker. Well, I told her that I had not uh, read it, but I was quite surprised that it had appeared in the newspaper. So she said that you should go home and read it carefully. Yeah. Well, I had schooling in uh, Nagpur in the Rumpet uh, Middle School uh, in the 7th and 6th, uh, 7th and 8th standard. Then I went to America and uh, I was at uh, Chapel Hill in the 8th uh, and 9th standards. I, had, I have fond memories of uh, my time there in 10th and 11th standard. I did my uh, two years at uh, Bishop Cotton High School. Shri Khande made many more crucial contributions to the combinatorics and the design theory. He delivered another landmark paper in 1959, defining what is known as Shri Khande graph that has connections with algebra, group theory and topology. Professor Sharad Sane, Emeritus Fellow, a combinatorist at IIT Bombay, says, all his work carried the hallmark of being simple and elegant, yet deep. Late Jagdish Narayan Srivastav, an Indian-born mathematician, statistician and a professor at Colorado State University, says, in any given combinatorial setting, Professor Shrikhande has the knack of discovering questions which are deep, elegant and significant. Shri Khande returned to India in 1960 after his cerebral work and joined the much venerated Banaras Hindu University. In 1963, he joined the Bombay University and was the first head of the Department of Mathematics and the director of the UGC Centre for Advanced Studies in Mathematics. Professor Shri Khande opines about Indian mathematicians. I think there are quite a few of them, like uh, who were connected with. Mm -hmm. Chawla? Huh? Chawla? Yeah, Chawla was there, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, 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 meet Harish Chandra? Harish no, Chandra? I, yeah. I, then, I saw him mm -hmm. at Tata Institute mm -hmm. when he was registered and I was there. No, I see. But I, I, no, I don't know much about this contribution now. Mm -hmm. How about uh, Abhyankar, Sri Ram Abhyankar? Yeah, he is a good Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He died uh, yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shri Khande's student Naveen Singhi did his PhD under him in 1972-73 and started collaborating with Shri Khande and Bose. Professor Singhi, winner of the prestigious Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar Award for Science and Technology for Notable Research, is now a retired professor from Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, specializing in combinatorics and graph theory. Professor Singhi speaks about major contributions of Professor Shri Khande. Uh, one of his most well-known contribution is uh, on Euler's conjecture. He's, uh, he uh, disproved Euler's conjecture for all numbers 
which are con congruent to 2 modulo 4 uh, except for n equal to 6 which was already proved by Euler and uh, that was a big change in the style in which combinatorics uh, particularly the designs in the field of designs research was done. He defined to prove this conjecture, uh, disprove this conjecture, he defined what are called pairwise balanced design and pairwise balanced design they used also they described the method actually they devised the method how to use them to create bigger design and since then until now that is one of the basic method to create larger designs after uh, before this problem actually he proved another very well known theorem about uh, symmetric designs by using Hase Minkowski theorem for the quadratic form he could prove generalize the theorem of Bruck and Reiser and prove a non existence theorem for the symmetric design symmetric design they use uh, so some sort of number theory related uh, tool he used to prove the theorem in combinatorics that is still one of the best results in the field later on he proved a very well known result on what are called L2 association scheme. He disproved. He proved that L2 association scheme is determined by its parameters, except for n equal to 4. In, that, in case of n equal to 4, he showed by an example that it is not determined. That example is well known as uh, Shikhan diagram. In fact, if anybody searches on internet Shikhan diagram, you might get at least 20 sites which are describing this graph in very colorful manner. When I started working with him, before that he had proved, a, he had given a very simple proof of uh, Marshall Hall and Connors theorem for uh, to prove that a quasi residual design is a residual design in case of 2. When lambda is 2, and uh, that time he gave a proof by using what is called triangular association scheme, their characterization by parameter. When I joined him, one of the results which we proved, which was also considered path breaking, was that the quasi residual design for higher lambda, we could show that if the block size is large, then they are also. Uh, residual design of symmetric design. In fact, we together with Bose, we proved this general, result in general case. First is Shikhande and myself, we proved for lambda equal to 3. And we proved for a very general class of designs, similar results, which are called partial geometric design. Before that, another uh, well-known theorem we had proved is that if a fine planes, if two parallel classes are missing, then it can be completed to a projective plane. Each of these results is considered a landmark in the field. Apart from that, he introduced several new concepts like he defined, he and along with one of his students, Bhagwandas, he defined what is called uh, uh, switching equivalent graphs and that is also one of the very basic concepts in the graph theory. Uh, he also studied, defined a new method to study Hadamard designs by what are called good blocks condition. He went on introducing such ideas for during most of his active research time. And that time we solved a famous problem of Erdos. We showed that Erdos Larson conjecture is, uh, if that is true, then the projective plane conjecture is false. Uh, in fact, Aldous changed his conjecture after our result. He, he said in, during his time in India, at a time when most people were going from India to USA, he came back from USA to India and worked as uh, administrator in head of the department here at a time when he could have got job in which he may not have any administrative duty anywhere and he could have lived in the USA. Late Vasanti Bhatnaik also did her PhD under Shrikhande at Bombay University 
and later joined as head of the department of mathematics there. Professor Mohan Shrikhande recalls, uh, He had uh, many, many, many PhD students at Bombay. I remember uh, Mrs. Bhatnayak was one of them. Uh, Naveen Singhi later on became a student and also uh, Bhagwan Das who is now at uh, uh, retired, he was at uh, the university in Indore and uh, uh, they all did uh, good work under his guidance and Singhi especially has uh, achieved quite a lot of uh, fame and recognition for the many joint papers that he has done with my father. While talking about Shri Khande's contribution, Professor Sharat Sane said, Shri Khande's contribution to the field along with R.C. Bose had a perfect clarity which also brought out uh, the depth of the field, the depth of the field you work in along with its myriad uh, connections. The long-lasting effect of his work is clearly seen with publications of uh, quality research work in the lead journal Design Codes and Cryptography uh, that has been publishing research papers of high quality for the past 25 years. Uh, the Charles Babbage Research Institute in Canada brought out a special volume of collected works of uh, S.H. Srikhande. I will therefore be content with mentioning two of his most outstanding results. The PBD closure technique pairwise balanced design closure technique uh, that was first used by Bose and Srikhande paved way for some path breaking results that culminated in the seminal work on asymptotic existence theory of Raichaudhuri and Wilson. Srikhande graph, the 16 vertex graph with an elegant embedding on a torus is an object with high aesthetic appeal. Srikhande also championed the use of linear algebraic techniques in the theory of log designs. Mahendra G. Nadkarni, Emeritus Professor and former Head of the Department of Mathematics, Mumbai University, who was associated with Shri Khande, recalls. Mahendra Shri Khande Ji, Pahili Olaak, Tadharan, Ekone Shri, Sashash, Sari Dhali, Mi University of Minnesota Madhya Vatru, Ani Dikhande Te, Saik, Dekhyan Dhyal Aale Vatru, Ani, Par, I was able to do my work in the conjecture and discourse. I was able to do my work in the conjecture. I was able to do my work in the conjecture. I was able to do my work in the conjecture. I was able to do my work in the conjecture. I was able to do my work in the conjecture. काम कराया इतना कर कराया आज कठिन नहीं है पर जैसे काम कराया फार फार कठिन है ये केला नंतर समझा रहा फार सोपा है ये काम जैसे प्रसिद्धि तर ये राणा मैंने जैसे तात्पुर्ति पर प्रसिद्धि ना होती यानी आयलर कंटेक्चर प्रसिद्धि के लिए पन्ना सौ शाह पुरुष जैसे अंदर आज दिन तक चार दिन लोगों को बोलता है � on the humility of Shri Khande, the late Canadian mathematician Ralph G. Stanton said, Shri Khande evinced more interest in discussing other topics in design theory than dwelling on his own achievements. Yashodhan Hathwarne, a physicist at the Raman Research Institute in Bangalore, who accompanied Shri Khande on long walks, said, that he never spoke about his achievements. Mohan Shri Khande started co-authoring papers with some of his father's colleagues like Bose, Singhi and Sane. Thus, Professor Shri Khande was a banyan tree under whose shade many a mathematician took shape. Recalling the days when Professor Shri Khande was offered directorship of Harish Chandra Research Institute, Allahabad, Padma Bhushan and Padma Shri, Professor M. S. Raghunathan said, uh, The DAE was asked, us, asked me about who can be the director. Then I met the Joint Secretary of the Department, who was in charge of all the aided institutions, and suggested to him that uh, Professor Shri Kandir would retire from 
<coughs> Bombay University could be a candidate. He jumped at it and said, yes, we'll do that and immediately called a meeting with Professor Shikande where across the table he offered him the job. He said, will you please take over as director of this place? It will be very good for that place, for that a man of your stature should come there. And Professor Shikande smiled and said, I don't know what you mean by stature. I am, of course, a very tall man, but I am willing to try it out if you are accepting. The man said, I am very happy that you are accepting it. Then he said, one more thing. Do you know that I am 65 years old? Now, these days, if, if you said something, that will be the end of this offer because you can't hire anybody at that age. And certainly, it was not. A person at the level of joint secretary wouldn't be able to take the decision, but those days were different. He had the authority to take the decision, and on the spot he said, Yes, that age is no problem. And uh, a few days later, he was given the letter of appointment, which he accepted. And that is how he came to become director of uh, HRI, I think, in the year 82. Dr. Jyotsna Prajapat, head of the department mathematics, Mumbai University, said, uh, Professor Shrikhande turned uh, 100 years old on 19th October uh, 2017. Uh, it was a memorable moment for me to be present for his uh, birthday celebration and meet him personally. Uh, it's uh, I consider it an honor that um, he was the first head of the Department of Mathematics, uh, which he established in 1963. And uh, I am a student of the same department taught by his student and today I am the head of this department as well and uh, this momentous occasion has happened uh, uh, during my tenure. Professor Shrikhande retired in 1978 and accepted directorship of Mehta Research Institute Allahabad, now known as Harishchandra Research Institute. He lost his wife Shakuntala in 1988. After staying for some years in US, he returned to India in 2009. How did uh, your wife support you in all, all your, uh, throughout your career? Yes, she very good answer. I doesn't this say, I can't say well, that she distresses me in my field of yeah. But she gave you a good working environment. Yes, yes. Yeah. She never interfered with me why I am doing this or not this. Yeah. Today, in the evening of his life, Shri Khande is living in Vijaywada in Chinmayananda Ashram for the underprivileged girls run by the in-laws of Neeta Kulkarni, one of his grandchildren. Uh, my father now is uh, staying in uh, Vijayawada uh, at uh, Chinmayananda Ashram and he is uh, well looked after by uh, many people here and he uh, was very happy to uh, meet me and all of my friends, especially my cousin Dilip Shrikande and his friend Arun Muktibodh. So they have uh, made a uh, very nice uh, collection of uh, articles uh, which they hope to put into, uh, the, uh, into a short film to inspire uh, future mathematicians or young young people into mathematics. So I'm very happy to uh, do a small part to contribute to this. We all on behalf of the department and uh, all the undergraduate teachers, the alumni of the department, uh, we all wish him uh, a good life and healthy life. Uh, I should uh, thank Professor Muktibodh for taking this kind of effort on his own and um, uh, trying to create um, and putting together uh, these kind of uh, excerpts from people who have been associated with uh, with Professor Sri Kande and the Department of Mathematics. The techniques developed by both Sri Kande and Parker 
have endured enough to have become an important and integral part of the study of design theory and combinatorics. Once a mathematician, always a mathematician, Professor Shri Khande's romance with figures continues. These days, he is usually seen at his desk solving sudokus and word puzzles. His very presence is like a soothing balm. He exudes an aura of a sage full of wisdom and humility. He even counts his own steps while moving around with a walker. Being confined to a wheelchair does not stop him from enjoying the presence of having children around him. Message by Shri Khande to young budding mathematicians. They should develop a long view of mathematics, not a particular problem in which they are interested. Mm. But others are three. Yeah, that is important. They should also have broad training in various, uh, various parts of mathematics. Yeah. You can tell us you have been using long. What is your opinion about this subject? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, what you say is true. Uh, most uh, most people will go into mathematics thinking they will work only in one particular topic, and uh, are not so interested in learning more about uh, various branches. But it is a good idea to get get a general picture of mathematics and uh, learn uh, as many different topics and uh, you never know what will come in handy to solve a particular problem so you should always have an open mind to learn so everything you can we salute professor sharat chandra shankar shri khande and wish him many more years to enlighten the coming generations mathematics reveals its secrets to those who approach it with pure love for its own beauty. Professor Shri Khande epitomizes all that and more. Our heart and soul salute to this figure of figures.